Hey guys, um, welcome back to audio games tutorial. Um, in today's video, I'm gonna sh uh, make a playthrough for a game called Echo V Street, which is this game is pretty new. Um, I think the objective of, of this game is um, to cross the street without got hit by the car. Um, by the way, it's not too late yet, so I'm gonna wish you guys a happy new year, happy 2024. Hope this year will be a good years for you guys. So without wasting any time, let's open the game. Social media fold, page two of two, Echo Vis Street. Double tap to open. Use 3D touch to show homes. Attention, active screen reader detected. To play, turn it off, and then press the next button. Go. Button. Double tap to select. Here's the attention. Transition Technologies S. A. Present. And here's the intro. Echo the Street. With financial support of Meridao Centrum Vatanai Roswaju Project Jejmin. <clears throat> Welcome in Echo the Street game. Thank you for choosing our game. Basic navigation gestures used in the game. Here's the menu. You can swipe using left or right. Oh, I mean, swipe left or swipe right, and you can double tap to select the menu. Navigating through dialog boxes and menus is essentially the same as in voiceover screen reader. There are, however, several important differences. We describe them below. Attention. Since screen reader should be disabled in this game, most of the special gestures specific to each Here's reader will not work. All the, menu. the gestures described below will be active in the vertical orientation of the smartphone. In horizontal orientation, they will work as for vertical orientation. 1. Navigation through the text is possible only by its paragraphs. Use swipes to the right or left with one finger to do this. A. Use the same gesture to move the cursor and read the currently highlighted item. It can be a menu option, information displayed in dialog boxes or other buttons. 2. To activate a highlighted button, double tap it with one finger. Yes. 3. A gesture of swiping down with two I mean. fingers, alternately, opens and closes the game menu. It can also be opened using the corresponding button found on some screens. 2. 3. A gesture of swiping down with two fingers, alternately, opens and closes the game menu. It can also be opened using the corresponding button found on some screens. A. The same gesture closes text windows and allows you to return from various submenus to the first menu level. Yep. 4. The two-finger swipe from left to right gesture closes the level description window and goes to the gameplay screen. Actual game. 1. The gesture of swiping from bottom to top with one finger is a step forward. 2. The gesture of swiping from top to bottom with one finger is a step backward. 3. The gesture of swiping up with two fingers, alternately, turns the game's graphical preview on or off. By default, it is disabled. Detailed descriptions of the gestures used in the application, as well as other important information, can be found in the menu, user manual. Don't show this again. Not check. Proceed. Button. Proceed. Don't show this again. Don't show this again. Check. Proceed. Okay, proceed. Level zero. Um, I don't want to play the level yet, so I'm gonna swipe down with two fingers. Headphone test. Here's a main menu. Double tap to select. Headphone test. Headphone test. Level list. Level list. Manual. Manual. Basic navigation gestures. Basic navigation Button. gesture. Donate us. Donate. More. Which is. Button. Um, Double tap to select. Explanatory. Close menu. More. More. Button. Close. Leave the game. Button. Close menu and leave Double the tap game. to leave the game. Close. More. Let's Button. open the more option. Double tap to music. Check. Talk. Music. Check. Sub menu. More. Music in the game menu. Check. Display. Check. Music in the game menu. Check. Toggle. Um, let's. Double tap to it. switch. Display welcome screens. Check. T about the application. Button. Dis check. Music in the game. Sub menu more. Music in the game. Music not checked. Toggle. We can disable Double it. Double tap to switch. And we can enable it. Music in the game menu. Check. 
Display check. Toggle about the applicate. Display check. Toggle. Um, Double tap to switch. Just a suggestion for the developer. I think you should make the game um, not interrupt the speech when we swap. About the application. Our other apps. About each of this project. Terms of use. Privacy policy. Send a bug report. Send suggestion. Here's all Return. the menu. More. Close menu. Leave the game. Close menu. More. Donate us. Basic navig manual. Basic nav. Welcome in Echo of this street game. Thank you for choosing our game. Basic navigating through attend since the jet one. A, I don't two, want three, this. A, four, act one, two, three, to take return, return, return. Basic navigation, donate a basic manual. Game manual. Let's go to the game manual. Echo of Street. Introduction. Echo of Street application is a game that mainly uses sound. The player is expected to use primarily the organ appearing. It features several levels, each with a different sound simulation of traffic. The main task of the user will be to cross to the other side of the street in such a way as not to be hit by passing cars or trams. For proper operation, you need to pause voiceover screen reader. <laughs> yeah, 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 I already turned off voiceover. Attention, make sure the mute switch is in the on position before playing. When it is in the off position, playing without headphones or external speakers will not be possible. Key sounds for the game will not be heard. Launching the game for the first time. Upon opening the Echo Vis Street game, three welcome screens are presented and read automatically. Then, the screen with information about the basic gestures used to operate it is displayed. You can indicate that you do not want to see these screens. The next one contains buttons that led to the terms of use and privacy policy and a button to accept them. Failure to accept the above documents will result in the closure of the game. Um, the terms and conditions are already accept before this. Basic navigation gestures used in the game. Navigating through dialog boxes and menus is essentially the same as in voiceover screen reader. There are, however, several important differences we describe them below. Attention. Since screen reader should be disabled in this game, most of the special gestures specific to each reader will not work. The gestures described below will be active in the vertical orientation of the smartphone. In horizontal orientation, they will work as for vertical orientation. 1. Navigation through the text is possible only by its paragraphs. Use swipes to the right or left with one finger to do this. A. Use the same gesture to move the cursor and read the currently highlighted item. It can be a menu option, information displayed in dialog boxes or other buttons. It is the same. 2. To activate a highlighted button, double tap it with one finger. Game level description screen. Each game level description screen contains the following options. 1. Menu button, activating which will open the application menu. By the way, this Two music game level number is and name. not the music I put in the video but three textual description of the space and the tasks to be performed at a given level of the game this is the game looping music Four. play button game activating itself. which will allow you to start playing the level actual game crossing the street level zero is where you can learn and practice making gestures that simulate walking forward and backward one the two finger swipe from left to right gesture closes the level description window and goes to the gameplay screen two the gesture of swiping from bottom to top with one finger is a step forward 3. The gesture of swiping from top to bottom with one finger is a step backward. Attention, we recommend you to start swiping from the center of the screen, not the bottom or top edge. Swiping from the top or bottom edge of the screen, with screen readers turned off, will activate the gestures used in that operating system and not those designed in our game. After selecting a specific game level, a graphic preview of the scene is displayed on the screen for a few seconds. As the music is muted, the screen is dimmed and we hear the message graphics hidden. This means we can start the game. Turning the game's graphical interface on and off. During the actual game, the swipe up with two fingers gesture, alternately, turns the game's graphical preview on or off. By default, it is disabled. Sometimes, however, you may want to turn it on to present the game to someone or just check anything by sight. Remember, turning the graphical preview on only works within the game level that is active at the moment. When you move to the next level, it will always be turned off again by default. You will be informed about it by an appropriate voice message. This is intentional, as the sense of hearing should be used in this audio game. For this reason, the graphics used in the game are simplified and do not serve to faithfully represent the actual scene. Okay. Description of the game's menu options. A gesture of swiping down with two fingers, alternately, opens and closes the game menu. It can also be opened using the corresponding button found on some screens. The same gesture closes text windows and allows you to return from various submenus to the first menu level. When you enter the game menu, you will find the following buttons. 1. Headphone test allows you to verify the correct placement of headphones on the right and left ear or the positioning of the speakers. 2. Level list displays a list of all levels available in the game and allows you to select any of them. 3. Manual allows you to go to this document. 4. Basic navigation gestures. Displays a description of the gestures used in the application interface. 5. Donate us enables you to donate symbolic amounts to transition technologies s. A. Payments can be made any number of times. We will be very pleased if you appreciate our work. 6. More opens a submenu that includes. 
A. Music in the game menu a switch that allows you to turn off the melody that is playing in the background. B. Display welcome screens a switch that allows you to disable the display of the three welcome screens. C. About the application contains the most important information about the Echovis Street game. D. Are other apps here you will find a list of other games developed under Project Echovis and applications dedicated to blind and visually impaired people. Created and developed a transition technologies under Project Seeing Assistant. Attention. Tapping on any of the options in this list will redirect you to the App Store. To read this content using speech synthesis, a screen reader will be required. E. About Echovis Project opens the Echovis Project website. Attention. It will be opened in the default web browser. To read this content using speech synthesis, a screen reader will be required. Okay. F. Terms of use in this document. We have described the most important conditions that each user must agree to before using our game. G. Privacy policy here we inform users about how we respect the data of each player. We designed the game in such a way so that you don't have to share your personal information with us. H. Send a bug report opens the default email application and allows you to send an error report. Attention. To operate this content using speech synthesis, a screen reader will be required. Okay. I. Send suggestion opens the default email application and allows you to send user suggestions to the application developers. Attention. To operate this content using speech synthesis, a screen reader will be required. J. Return allows you to return to the first level of the menu. 7. Close menu closes the game menu. 8. Leave the game closes the game. Attention. Scoring system. 8. Leave the game closes the game. Attention. After doing this, to operate the smartphone using speech synthesis, a screen reader will be required. Okay. Scoring system. Correct completion of the task at each level is scored as follows. Bullet the first time, the player receives 10 points. Bullet the second time, the player receives 6 points. Bullet the third time, the player receives 3 points. When the game is completed, a screen will be displayed with a summary of the scores and a breakdown of the game levels. From this screen, you can also send an error report, play again, or close the application. Okay. We wish you to cross the street collision free at 100% of the time. Return. B return. Button. Manual. B basic navigation gesture. Button. Donate us. Basic man level list. Headphone game menu. Headphone test. Let's do the Button. headphone test. Double tap to select. We play the level. Take the level. After choosing play, you will hear sound from left and right speaker. If you hear sound from the wrong direction, please reverse your headphones. Yeah, we know that. Thank you. Play. Return. Play. After choosing play. Return. Okay. Button. Headphone test. Game menu. Headphone level list. Button. Double tap to select. Level 0. Learning gestures. Description of the environment. You are in front of a pedestrian crossing over a narrow road. On the left at a distance of 2 meters is the first car, and on the right at a distance of 5 meters is the second car. Both vehicles have their engines running. Tasks to do. Practice gestures of moving forward and backward. Try to hear the differences in distance to each of the two cars. Bullet the gesture of swiping across the screen with one finger from bottom to top is a step forward. Bullet the gesture of swiping across the screen with one finger from top to bottom is a step backward. Okay. Bullet the two-finger swipe from left to right gesture closes the level description window and goes to the gameplay screen. To start the next level of the game you have to go to the other side of the road. Start game. Graphic is hidden. Graphic is visible. Yes, yeah, swipe two fingers upward. And let's swipe up or down first. And swipe down for um, backward. So the objective is to cross the street. So let's swipe up. Yeah, chicken. Congratulations, you've reached the next level. Thank level you. Level one. Narrow road, crossing with traffic lights. Description of the environment. You are standing in front of a pedestrian crossing over a narrow road. Cars travel on it in one lane to the right and in one lane to the left. Cars do not slow down or stop to avoid a collision when you pass when a red light is on for pedestrians. Tasks to do. Cross the road when the green light for pedestrians comes on. Start game. I think you guys <clears throat> should make... Graphic is hidden. Graphic if is visible. the green light for pedestrian, it will be have a dialogue or have a beat. So people can notice it. So if we don't have that thing, that infamous is a green light. We are not able to cross it. So I think it's it is a red light for the car, so we can cross it. Let's go.
Congratulations, you've reached the next level. Level 2. Wide road, crossing with traffic lights. Description of the environment. You are standing in front of a pedestrian crossing. The road you are to cross consists of two two-lane roadways. Between the roadways are tracks on which tram run. Vehicles move in two directions. They do not slow down or stop to avoid a collision when you pass when a red light is on for pedestrians. Tasks to do. Cross the road when the green light for pedestrians comes on. Start game. Graphic is hidden. Graphic is visible. Yeah, the sound is... a 3D. I think when the car stop, or the tram stop, it will... Uh, we can... We can move. So I think it's... Green light. So why not? Congratulations, you've reached the next level. So I think... Level 3. This is the objective of the game. The intersection of two white roads. Description of the environment. You are standing in front of a pedestrian crossing with a traffic light. The road you are to cross consists of two dual carriageways. Between the roadways are tracks on which trams run. It intersects at a right angle with another wide road, on which cars also travel. Vehicles move in four directions. They do not slow down or stop to avoid a collision when you pass when a red light is on for pedestrians. Tasks to do. Cross the road when the green light for pedestrians comes on. Start game. I think... I really know the concept. Graphic is hidden. Graphic is visible. I think we can move. Congratulations, you've reached the next level. Level 4. Narrow road, crossing without traffic lights. Description of the environment. You are standing in front of a pedestrian crossing over a narrow road. Cars travel on it in one lane to the right and in one lane to the left. Cars do not slow down or stop to avoid collisions. Tasks to do. Cross the road avoiding being hit by a car. Start game. I think I can do, I can do this. Graphic is hidden. Graphic is visible. Oops. You failed. Try again. Level 4. Narrow road. Disc. You. Cars. Task. Cross. Start game. Let's try again. This a game over sound. Graphic is hidden. Graphic is visible. Oops, I fail again. You fail. Try again. Level 4. Narrow description of the environment. You are cars do not slow. Tasks to do. Cross start main menu. Start game. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Graphic is hidden. Graphic is visible.
Yeah, I can move first. Congratulations, you've reached the next yes. level. Yes, finally. Level five. Wide road, crossing without traffic lights. Description of the environment. At this level, the sounds of falling rain and rustling wind are an important part of the background sound. You are standing in front of a crosswalk. The road consists of two dual carriageways. Vehicles move in two directions and do not slow down or stop to avoid collisions. Tasks to do. Cross the road avoiding being hit by a car. Start game. Graphic is hidden. Graphic is visible. Whoops. You failed. Try again. Level 5. Why? Dis F you are standing in. Vehicles move in. Tasks to do. Cross the road avoiding being. Start game. <laughs> Graphic is hidden. Graphic is visible. It's more car. So I won't be able to pass. No. You fail. Try again. Level 5. Wide road. Crossing. Description. At this level. You are standing. Vehicle. Task. Cross the road. Avoid. Start game. Graphic is hidden. Graphic is visible. You fail. Try again. I seriously I level don't five. know how to pass this. Headphone test. Headphone level manual. Level list. Level zero. Level level le le level five. Wide row button. Level six. Jackham button. Double t return. Level six. Level level five. Try the level. Wide row. Crossing with description of the environment. At this level, the sounds of falling rain and rust. You are stamp vehicle tasks to do. Cross the road. Avoid it. Start game. Uh, let me try again. Graphic is hidden. Graphic is visible. Muted. Oops. Unmuted. No, I think I, you I failed. nearly Try got. Again. I nearly finished that. But level five, wide road, cross discrete at the you are vehicles moving task cross the road of start game. <laughs> Graphic is hidden. Graphic is visible. Let them pass first. Please, let them pass. 
let me pass, please. Let me pass. Congratulations. Yes. You've reached the next level. Send suggestion. Send suggestion. You walk safely across the street. Three times, you walk safely across the street. Three times at the first attempt. One time at the second. Two times at the second. Number of failed levels. One. Number of scored points. 39. Send suggestion. Play again. Lead the game. Are you sure you want to quit? Exit. Button. Echo this street. Dock. Safari. Double. Safari. So. Controls. Access. F time. Cal. Camera. Music rec. Selected. Screen recording. Button. Um, this. Double tap and hold to show more controls. Only this I'm gonna show today. I hope you guys have a good day. And thank you for watching.